Okay, hi everyone. I'm going to show you how to draw the TIE Fighter using Tinkercad. Okay, step one, uh, we will try to draw the center part of the TIE Fighter. We use a sphere and I also need a cylinder. Okay, let's prepare these two objects. Okay, now I want you to create a ring, a ring shape using the cylinder after you lower down the shape you can see there are five dot uh, five white dots choose the center one to control the height you can make it um, probably five or six for the five mm uh, we can put a ruler here okay five mm for the heights and increase the okay you can increase a bit to 30 okay 30 then um, what I want you to do is to duplicate this by holding down control D or command D okay you have copied this object uh, in order to see the object try to bring it up change the hold now you hold down your shift key and make it smaller okay. probably 27 now you can put 27 so the inside is 27 mm outside is 30 mm now you select both object and use a line Click on the center so that both objects will be aligned properly together. Once they have aligned, what I want you to do is cut through the objects. Okay, you can increase the height. Okay, um, let's click outside. Increase the height of the object. Uh, push it down. I think you can notice we are ready to cut through the object now what you need to do is select both object and use the group to cut okay now you can lower down this ring again probably to 4 mm here 4 mm height uh, we will increase the height again later we will adjust again later uh, but 4 mm is just for us to create the skeleton okay use another box the box can be as thin as um, try to fix it as thin as the ring and same height the height should be also 4 mm then you bring it to the center make sure it touch the side select both object uh, not to group them but to align them okay center center uh, this is very important if you don't align center uh, it will be misaligned when we do the duplication of the red color bar select the red color bar now what I want you to do is duplicate the red color bar press ctrl D to duplicate and use this tool to turn 45 is it 45 I think I I think it's 45 let's put 45 okay then control D again control D again mm, fine uh, this is what I want you to do okay press control D twice no need to manually align okay after this is done click outside and prepare to bring your polygon in if you count here there are eight sides so what I want you to do is change this to eight also the sides you can just increase to eight and then you can reduce the size of this um, okay before you do that if you want to make your work easy 
uh, duplicate first what I want you to do is okay, 4mm duplicate this object control D okay then reduce the size holding down the by holding down this uh, shift key change to hold increase the height and then align both of them together how to align select both choose align and click on the center okay now you can just cut it by grouping them together and you can place this object uh, actually, actually we shouldn't cut first right? we should place the object by selecting both and place it in the center okay now how to place in the center select all objects align and then now you can see so coincident that I managed to place it right in the center okay click outside hold down the control okay now I want this to cut through one more time uh oh control Z okay I just want the center to be select okay I want to cut through so if you look at here it's a cut through eh? now it's easy what you need to do is just group them together okay group together now you can see this is what I want you to do yeah, this is a wheel something like a wheel but this is what we call a windscreen for the TIE fighter now increase the size of this sphere the sphere need to be bigger need to be bigger than this uh, wheel uh, this window and there is a simple method just to make this tall after that bring this in you can adjust okay adjust bigger then you use alignment tool again by selecting center center okay uh, you can make sure that the sphere is uh, touching the floor the workspace by pressing D okay, if there's no changes that means touching the floor very important this part should not be shown so what you need to do is just to bring it up oops sorry S select outside then bring it up now this is too high we have to adjust the size uh, the height by pressing by using the white color uh, if you want to change the height of the object you use the white okay what is enough make sure this the whole thing can be seen is slightly above the blue color sphere uh, don't worry about the side the wall the wall will be cropped later okay this is the first part first part completed what I want to do next is to cut away the ex, uh, the extra view this extra area then uh, you look at just follow how I do it I want another box I want this blue color sphere to be duplicated okay here okay then what I want you to do is to click this make sure this is bigger than the sphere covering the whole sphere you can turn around and check bring this whole place up okay bring this up now you adjust but uh, don't need to be too high uh, you can bring it up now the important is when you look at it from here uh, this has to be longer uh, if you if you put like okay let me press it down let's say this is still acceptable but try not to cut too high okay cut deeper uh, and how to cut is very simple I want you to swap this to a solid make the ball as whole select both object so that you can group and cut 
now I want you to change this box back to whole and do you understand what I'm doing now? Yeah, we are ready to cut here following this shape. Okay, so what I want to do is to place this here. We want to do one more uh, alignment, align center. Okay, make sure this and this has been selected. Now, click our side. We want to adjust the height of this. Oops, sorry, sorry. Let me check. Let's click outside first. Click on the box only. Adjust the height. Ah. Make sure, make sure. Important is. Ah, this is not perfect. Not perfectly aligned. Uh, let's align again. Hmm. Okay, sometimes it's not perfect. So what you can do is you can manually adjust by changing this to 1mm. Click here. Use your keyboard. Okay, use your keyboard to adjust it. Okay, select the box. Use the keyboard to adjust it. Do you see? The, it is now balanced. Okay, the whole area is now balanced. Adjust the height. Make sure the top area can be seen. We just want to crop away uh, uh, this thick only, not too high, uh, not too thick. So the rest of this uh, darker area will be cropped away. Uh, if you lower down a little bit more, uh, this is nice. Okay, Select both, group together. Do you see what I mean? Uh, this is very nice. Uh, this is the center part of the TIE Fighter. Let's place it somewhere here. And uh, you have to prepare another part, which is the bottom, the bottom of the TIE Fighter, the exhaust area. We will use a torus here, torus shape, and add another cylinder. This is very simple. Hold down the shift key, make it small, place it inside here, select both, Align them to center. Okay, make sure center alignment. And then place this on top. Again, select all alignment, center alignment. Uh, you need to use center alignment because you cannot see the bottom. If you don't use alignment, you will not be able to put in the center. After you do that, select all and group into one single object. To see your output, you can turn to this area, this angle, then 90 degree. Okay. Now you see, this is the uh, exhaust area uh, of your TIE Fighter. Almost, it's almost done. We have to create two more eyes for your uh, TIE Fighter. Actually, there are some sort of light. Uh, uh, airplanes do have light. Light source. Hold down. Uh, do we need to hold down? No need. Okay, no need to hold down the shift key. You can create something like egg shape. I want an egg shape object. To make it easy to see, change this to red color first. Okay, we want to create this little red color light. Okay, now you can hold down the shift key after you got the, the, the egg shape and use this to bring it up. Then bring it in. You can use the keyboard to bring it in, which I suggest keyboard will be easier if you're not very familiar with your mouse. Okay, can you see? I have um, put the red color light uh, in the right place. Then Control D to duplicate. Do not use your mouse. Use your arrow key on your keyboard left key until you see the light okay you see the object oh, too small that means more towards the left okay can you see both are almost the same size that means acceptable uh, first part okay the center i believe uh, we can select all we can move it aside and prepare for the wing parts. Okay, now we are going to create the wing of this uh, TIE Fighter. 
to create the wing, you need a polygon. Okay. Uh, mm, okay. Let's see. Uh, you have to create a shape that look like this. Okay, let's create something like because we know the we have to create a center for the wing. Okay. Um don't need to be too high. Let's say six mm. You can type in six mm here. What I want is something similar to what we do for the window. Uh, duplicate the object, Control D. Now you can see the object duplicated. The objective is to make the object smaller and cut a hole. So hold down your Shift key, drag it smaller, then change to hole, make it higher, put on top. Select both object, use alignment tool, center. Oops, sorry. One more time. Center, center. Okay, both have been aligned properly. Uh oh, Control Z. Okay, don't undo. Is Control Z. Okay, bring it down. Now, can you see? We want to cut through like what we did just now. Uh, uh just before I forget this, duplicate the whole thing one more time to the bottom one more time. Control D. Because later I will use this to create the the center. Okay. Now we can crop this, make a hole. Okay. Next stage will be similar to what we did. One red box. Okay, draw a red box here. See the thickness of this should be about the same with the side. We know we use is it six mm just now? Hmm. So put it in the center, drag to the right hand side. So you ask yourself is it center or not? If it's not sure, use alignment two. Okay, center. Center for both. Okay. Properly align. Okay, now we can So if I put like this, okay, let's do like this. Control D. After that, Control D again. Okay, let's me delete. It seems like duplicate from here will be easier. Okay, make sure it's touching the side. Okay, this is not touching. So increase this side, increase a bit. So check if it's okay. Then you can uh, since this side is six mm, so this side we we put it as four mm. Once we put in the center, align. Uh, use align two. To align properly, you use this one also. So then the alignment you can see, it went to the center. At the bottom you can see, at the top you can see. So this is a simple wing design. Okay, um, we can actually use one more. Just to just for decoration, uh, lower down. 6 mm height. Uh, 
put in the center here select all okay you see put to center put to center correct properly align and now you can select all and group into one single object bring it up 90 degree and we can place this somewhere here duplicate it Control D you should have another wing okay now we left with the center part to connect both wing together that one is simple use a cylinder make a long cylinder uh, holding down shift key bring it up okay there's a uh, something I notice is everyone like to ask how long is we should put this how long we should put that uh, but to me is you're creating an art you see so there's no fixed rule on how how much is supposed to be as long as you think it is right and you think it is nice that is fine okay so I can reduce further because I think probably I personally prefer a um, thinner look fine bring in a cone okay press D to bring it down it is flying okay what is the use of this cone is we want to put something okay 90 degree then put it down uh, D oh still is down already so what we need to do is bring this up okay make sure they are in the center properly align in the center now you can see the center here center for the height okay this is not so important here if you put here you go to the center of this object not very important important now is we have to put it in the right place okay let me click outside then we select this object um, you have to duplicate it Control D once it's got it you can use your mouse to push it out and for the right one you turn 180 degree 180 degree and then you use the right key do not group them together first because we have to adjust now I bring it here I bring oh, this one also not group huh? so be careful of the eyes select all bring them together now what we need to do is a careful alignment okay select uh, it's good to select all of okay be careful I'm we are not supposed to select the eye we can select this we can select hold down the shift key select this side we can select this one we can select the blue and then we use alignment make sure in the center okay both in the center oops so you may be asking what is wrong um, mm. okay can you see it's properly fixed so sometimes as I say before is if you uh, if you want to improve a bit you can manually move okay we can move it now if you think you, you can see there's a guideline here this is the center mm. okay but sometimes center doesn't look perfect to me okay so I prefer to adjust myself a little bit to the front you can see here will be uh, better distributed same for this side you may be asking how how can I align until so perfect uh, this is just luck you may want to try uh, a few times okay okay I can see here is longer uh, here is longer than this side so that I have to 
do some manual adjustment. If you want to do a proper one, you can count how many uh, dot we have in here uh, and do a perfect calculation. Eh? So far, I think almost perfect. Drag the wing. Drag the wing. Hmm. Get this one, drag it up. Okay, make sure you cannot see the... Uh, okay, now you may be asking, do you want to use a line? Why not? Let's try. Um, what I worry is this one. The height must be correct. This one must be correct. Can you see the difference now? Okay, how about the right hand side? Uh, now is our oh okay not right uh, not correct hmm. again select oh oops careful I do not want to select so many things and then use alignment tool Height very important. If not, it won't look nice. Center very important. Then the next is just make sure you uh, you can bring them in. You can bring it in a bit. Select outside. Okay, bring it in. Okay, now you check seems this side is a bit shorter than here so you can adjust until it is uh, perfect and make sure you cannot see from this side done this is the tie fighter so you can follow step by step pause the video and uh, mm, if you really cannot uh, we will solve the problem during your cca lesson okay thank you everyone